Hello friends, James Corbett here, CorbettReport.com, May 15th, 2017, with a thought for the day on a news story that probably disappeared from your news radar very quickly, but probably shouldn't have. It's up here at globalresearch.ca. Monsanto accused of hiring army of trolls to silence online dissent, according to court papers. Biotech giant Monsanto is being accused of hiring, through third parties, an army of internet trolls to counter negative comments while citing positive ghost-ridden pseudoscientific reports which downplay the potential risks of their products. This is related to an ongoing court case in the U.S. District Court in San Francisco, which is 50 lawsuits, so over 50, I believe, that have been rolled up into one trial um, that is basically a bunch of people claiming that their non-Hodgkin lymphoma and other diseases uh, caused them or their relatives uh, sickness and even death, while Monsanto concealed the potential risks. The documents related to this court case are being compiled by U.S. Right to Know, which is a food safety whistleblower organization and made available online. Some of these documents are quite interesting, including some documents released late in April that show the plaintiffs alleging that Monsanto targeted all online materials and even social media comments that indicate potential dangers of its products, According to one document released late in April, Monsanto even stated the app started the aptly named Let Nothing Go program to leave nothing, not even Facebook comments unanswered. Through a series of third parties, it employs individuals who appear to have no connection to the industry, who in turn post positive comments on news articles and Facebook posts defending Monsanto, its chemicals and GMOs, the documents read. Uh, on a larger scale, Monsanto allegedly quietly funnels money to think tanks such as the Genetic Literacy Project and the American Council on Science and Health, organizations intended to shame scientists and highlight information helpful to Monsanto and other chemical producers, according to the plaintiffs. I'll let you continue reading through this article and the information therein, but a uh, very interesting story, and I'll link you, of course, as always, to the actual documents in question here. This one, a motion in the case from April 24th. 2017, talking about this Let Nothing Go program where they are literally commenting on every comment they can find online in order to defend Monsanto's reputation through third-party internet trolls, and also these think tanks like the Genetic Literacy Project and the American Council on Science and Health, which sound very authoritative and independent, but to which Monsanto is allegedly quietly funneling money. So, very interesting document uh, here, and an intriguing little bit of uh, blackout here about Exhibit 1 in this case, which I guess is under wraps. But anyway, uh, for those who really want to get into the weeds of this issue, please pardon the pun, you can uh, go to the email exchanges themselves and read through some of the exchanges that take place um, between Monsanto and some of its uh, delegates here. Very, very interesting. Um, interesting stuff. And this is part of a Larger story, as I say, about this court case, which uh, hopefully you will know about. If not, well, you're in luck. Go to the articles section of my website. And when you do so, you will be able to scroll down to find the... Oh, on the next page. Well, it's gone to the next page now. But you'll be able to find Monsaden on trial for Roundup Cancer. And uh, this article talks about this, this court case in some detail and talks uh, about some of the documents that are being released, again, through this U.S. right to know. So very, very interesting trial that is going on right now about the cancer-causing uh, Roundup herbicide, glyphosate. Um, in fact, the most used ca uh, agricultural chemical in the history of the world by this point. So... Good to know that that has that car the carcinogenity of that has been covered up for decades and is just starting to come out now. Um, but the fact that Monsanto is applying such extraordinary efforts to try to silence uh, dissent and and uh, and to counteract absolutely anything online that appears to be dissent will not be again particularly surprising to people who follow my work. For example, the. Uh, Project Censored award-winning uh, uh, article slash video that I did a few years ago now on genetic fallacy, how Monsanto silences scientific dissent, talking about the uh, Seralini study and what that was really about and what it really showed and how it was really squashed. And there's more to that story that I've talked about in more recent years, but uh, an incredible on ongoing uh, story. And... Perhaps also relevant, so I'll throw the link in the show notes for this, is how to make a lobbyist squirm. If you didn't see that video, I suggest you check it out. But long story short, 
uh, Patrick Moore, the GMO advocate, uh, is put on the spot by a documentary filmmaker who's interviewing him about the carcinogenity of glyphosate and, uh, well, calls him out on his lie that glyphosate is safe to drink in an amusing way. So the interviewer asks Patrick Moore, uh, about this, and Moore says, oh, I don't believe that glyphosate in Argentina is causing increases in cancer. You can drink a whole quart of it, and it won't hurt you. And that's where we pick up this story, and I'll just let the uh, interview speak for itself. It has to be heard and seen to be believed. You can drink a whole quart of it, and it won't hurt you. It's, yeah, uh, it, you want to drink some? We have some here. I'd be happy to, actually. But you, not, not really, but... Not really? I know it wouldn't hurt I mean, me. If, if, if you say so, I have some glyphosate. No, no, I'm not stupid. Ah, okay, so you... you, you no, but I know... So that it's dangerous, I know, right? I know people try to commit suicide no, with no, it and fail no, fairly regularly. Tell the truth. It's, it's not dangerous, dangerous to humans. No, it's no. not. So you read... All right, uh, a, a humorous little situation, and it's just one of those tiny little things that gives the real window onto the issue. Again, you can have any number of scientific studies published in uh, jargonese and gobbledygook that people won't uh, understand or be able to read that goes into great details about how this is a toxic substance that is killing people, a probable human carcinogen, even listed by the World Health Organization's uh, cancer agency of all places. And yet, of course, you'll get the Patrick Moores of the world, continuing to talk about it as if it's wonderful until they're asked to drink a glass. Yes, indeed. Well, one of those one of those uh, interesting insights into the story, as I say. So, again, this is uh, a large story that has a lot of different uh, moving parts to it. So I hope you'll look into the show notes for this and take a look at these various articles and start delving into the story. Because, again, it speaks very much to the world that we are living in right now. And uh, so it certainly puts into perspective some of those comments that you might see on YouTube videos and Facebook posts and other places that seem to be in support of Monsanto. Satan. You have to wonder where those comments are coming from. Just a thought for the day. James Corbett, CorbettReport.com.